I recently discovered an app called SoloLearn. For those of you who don't know, SoloLearn is a platform you can use to learn programming. They have a bunch of courses covering a variety of programming languages and subjects. In this video, I'll be showing you the different features of the platform, its advantages and disadvantages, and telling you what I think about the pro subscription. Stick around. To access SoloLand, go to www.sololand.com or download their app in the Google Play Store, then create an account. Creating an account will allow you to save your progress and interact with other people using the app, which brings me to the app's first advantage, their incredible community. The app might be named SoloLand, but you are not alone here. SoloLearn has a good community of developers and students you can interact with. You can ask the community for help should you encounter a coding problem you can't crack on your own. Share your code with the community, help others by answering questions, and even message people directly. You can challenge and accept challenges from other users of the app, beat people with higher levels than you to get the most points. SoloLearn has a bunch of features you can use to track your progress as you learn to code. You start at level 0 and as you learn, solve problems and beat people in challenges, you gain points which allow you to level up. This makes learning to code feel like playing a JRPG. The leaderboard shows your progress relative to other developers locally and internationally. You get badges for different accomplishments as you learn and you can set daily goals to reach. I do 2 lessons per day. SoloLearn has a huge built-in compiler and code editor called Code Playground. This supports a variety of programming languages including Java, C++, C Sharp, Python, Kotlin, PHP, Ruby, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. Code Playground has all the features you will need to write, debug, and run code within SoloLearn. The projects and practice programs on the app will allow you to get a solid grasp on the programming language you are learning by solving problems. This is important as it allows you to actively use the skills you learn rather than memorize syntax. Now let's talk about the app's disadvantages. The courses on SolarLearn are interactive which is good, but the content on each course is thin. They give you the bare minimum. You will need to use the app in conjunction with a coding tutorial or a coding book. The app on its own is perfect to refresh your knowledge and practice your coding skills. Depending on how often you write code or use the app, their pro subscription may be worth it. If you are a CS student looking for an app to practice your coding on, the projects on this app may be worth it. Their pro subscription costs 60 US dollars or 900 rands per year. Let's recap. SoloLearn is an app slash website where you can learn to code. They have a lot of programming languages, interactive features, an awesome programming community, a built-in compiler and code editor, and a lot of tracking tools. The app is good as a tool to practice coding. The pro vision may be worth it to some people. Just use the free trial to see if that's you. Thanks for watching. This was Vector M. See you in the next one.